So here in my hands are a couple of our Madagascar golden hognose snakes. This one here is a stalk, an adorable little baby. Um, and this one here is a little bit larger. They'll actually get about four feet long. Um, they feed readily on, this one here would be eating large fuzzy mice, maybe hoppers, whereas this one here is going to be eating adult mice. Uh, they're beautiful, beautiful snakes. They feed readily on rodents in captivity. Um, you're going to want to keep them with a warm spot of about 85 to 90 degrees, semi-tropical, thick layer of substrate to burrow in. Uh, and once you get them set up at home, they're honestly really inquisitive, funny little snakes. They're, they'll stick their whole bodies under the bedding and then stick just their little faces up. Uh, just to watch what you're doing. Uh, their biggest threat is going to be that they might musk on you if they get scared. Uh, but obviously if you handle them calmly and confidently, they're really not that bad. They're really sweet. The, the, I, honest, I was looking up uh, toxicity of hognose venom and I honestly couldn't find anybody who'd been bitten by the Madagascar species of hognoses. So uh, they may or may not have too bad toxins, but honestly, if they're so non-aggressive that nobody has reported a bite by them, uh, I don't think you really have to worry about it. Um, and even so, hognoses aren't known for being particularly toxic. So even if you are that horrible, poor, poor person who ends up bitten for the first time, I really doubt you're going to have any kind of problems. Uh, if you're interested in ordering these gorgeous and beautiful and really sweet golden hognoses, you can go ahead and visit our website at www.llreptile.com where we have these and all of our available animals listed. And there you have it. That was just a couple of our available Madagascar Golden Hog Roses. If you're interested in ordering them, make sure you visit our website and check them out.